this is driving me wild. So let's talk about how to avoid road rage. Um, a state certified instructor, I teach teens and adults. You want to signal your intention. That's one of the biggest issues that drivers don't do. So I've made a lane change, mirror, turn signal, blind spot. You want to increase your following distance. When you increase your following distance, you're able to keep good speed. As you can tell, the truck is flying to the left and that creates road rage. You don't want to be the driver to do that. You want to be a driver that is safe and consistent. So I have to make a lane change to the right, mirror, turn signal, blind spot. You want to signal your intention. We all have to get to work in the morning. We all want to be safe, but you don't want to be the driver to cause an accident. Speed control, not tailgating, not making any rapid like they took the last second to get over. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot. They could have got behind me. So you're going to have drivers who make last second uh, lane changes and uh, that is a driving error. You want to get into your lane appropriately and on time. You want to be able to make good decisions and when you make good decisions you're able to drive safely and enjoy driving to work. Driving should be enjoyable. It shouldn't be stressful where you're going to have to cut off every single driver. You're going to have to make erratic lane changes. That's not the driving process. Okay, we're on this uh, curve right now. We have our uh, warning uh, warning uh, line to the left, which is yellow. We have our edge line to the right. You as a driver want to stay in between these lanes. This will help you. Now, in a moment, the line's going to be broken. It varies from state to state, to province to province. You always want to use your blinker. So my blinker's on. I'm looking over my left shoulder. I gently accelerate. I'm out to the first lane. When you drive smoothly, uh, it feels comfortable. It feels safe. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a lane change to the left. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot. That's a smooth lane change. You want to be smooth in your lane changes. You want to take your time in your lane changes. And you want to be consistent. Consistency involves using your blinker. Consistency involves checking your mirror and blind spot. And consistency involves having good speed control. A lot of beginning drivers go too slow in lane changes. Uh, they go too fast in lane changes. They jerk the wheel. So as you can tell, I'm in the middle lane. It's the smooth lane. I'm taking my time. I have really nice speed control. There's uh, no one behind me. You want to check your mirror every 12 to 15 seconds. When you're taking your DMV test or road test, you, the, and the instructor is going to look for you to have great speed control. That's the number one thing that will fail students. Also, you have to check your mirror and blind spot. When you're merging on expressway, you want to accelerate on the acceleration ramp. That's the ramp where you get up to freeway speed, you look over your shoulder, left or right, quick glance, mirror, turn signal, blind spot. If you do these things, you're going to get a very good grade. They had to blink your arm for three points. That's basically what you're going to get. You want to be consistent so I know where they're going. Also, you want to anticipate. This big truck, people do not like driving behind trucks, in front of trucks, or near trucks. So you always want to anticipate what drivers may do. I just want to review. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. I've been doing driver's education 21 years. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot. That's a pretty good lane change for me as well as them. It kind of caught me off guard a little bit. I need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Driving with Miles. We're going to have some great holiday content. Please get us the thumbs up and God bless.